Good morning, everybody. Just let the chickens out for the first time today, but I could not sleep very well last night because it's skunk mating season and we have a healthy population of skunks, if you remember for some of my videos last year. And oh my gosh, they are active. It just smells like skunk 24 seven these days. I have the dogs out for a walk right now and Tilly, she doesn't like it. So she's like cowarding, like looking back at me like, is it okay? I'm running right now towards these smells. I know they're around here somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. Hopefully not too close to the house. But anyways, it's skunky. That's for sure. But beautiful. We had a brilliant sunrise this morning, which is always a great start to the day. This weekend is time change. And honestly, I'm so excited for it. I kind of caught me by surprise and so I'm super stoked uh, for the time change but let's go check our buckets and see what's going on in there okay so here's a good example this bucket is on closer to the south facing more north facing or gets early sun late sun so once it's warmed up at the end of the day so this bucket here boom empty this bucket here has about a quarter. So we'll probably end up dumping these because the sap's not really given her just yet. Uh, start fresh and hopefully as the weather warms, we'll be on track to collect some sap for syrup. So not much happening just yet. Our really great friend, Doug, who is an amazing welder came over uh, earlier this week to help Brian, no, Brian helped Doug, yes, weld uh, new support legs on the arch of the evaporator. Uh, when we purchased it, we got it for such a good deal because one of the legs was wobbly. Um, and so it was fine last year, we kind of shored it up, but we wanted something permanent. So I'm gonna show you when I get back to the house, Doug's handiwork. So thanks so much, Doug. Hopefully we get a good run this year and we'll pay you in syrup and eggs. Uh, but it was, it was awesome that Doug gave up his time to come out and uh, help us do that. Also, Brian's learning to weld, so he didn't wanna make a dog's breakfast of it. So uh, yeah, pretty awesome. We're excited for the season. Who's out? Hey, everybody. These guys got to come out for the first time this year, 2023. They've been out a little bit on the other side, but I just saw that this patch had kind of thawed and we've been having above um, zero degree temperatures. So the melt is on and I just thought, you know what, I think it's time to let them out. And they came racing down the ramp. I should have videoed it. It was really funny. I thought about that as an afterthought. But uh, this group, some of them are still inside, but these guys are happy to be out. So just nice to get some fresh air and maybe get some grit off the driveway. Not a lot of green for sure, but that's okay. Okay, here's the finished project that Doug did. So the wobbly leg was on this side so they took some angle iron and welded on some feet and a support bracket and then on the bottom of both of the feet if you can see on the other side there's a hole so there will be an adjustable yeah that's the old wobble puss and this new and improved she's gonna last forever it's awesome he did such an awesome job 
Anyways, you can see over on the other corner, the little hole. So a one inch bolt will go up through there and then the arch will be adjustable just to make sure that we can level it out, out in the sugar shed. So next thing on the list is to move it out there. So we're gonna use the tractor and some slings and then we're gonna put it back on these little wheel dollies to roll it into place. And then we're gonna use probably the floor jack Whoops, I thought he's not the floor jack. The floor jack to uh, pu uh, pump it up uh, and then put it down on the ground. So yeah, kind of exciting. to tie basically a plumb bob from the top down so I'm just gonna tie a little nut on a line you're getting sleepy just to explain a little bit about what we're doing here so we hung a plumb bob down, it's actually behind now, but to mark center. So we lined up center so that we know the chimney because we have the chimney. Let me show you. 
we have the chimney installed there. And so we hung the plumb bob so that we can line up the, the evaporator uh, exhaust pipe or whatever. Uh, and so we'll have steel here and then the pipe here. And then we're about to take it off the carts, off the wheels. So we'll take it off the wheels and put it right on the concrete. And then we'll be one step closer. level it's in we just have to do the stove pipe we have to cut it because it's a little bit too long we'll put the steel we'll... on behind and then closer to being ready to boil this ladder is the best and worst ladder in the world it's called a little giant it's the best because it can make multiple configurations so straight out flat ladder a frame a frame odd so one leg short, one leg long, but it is heavy and it's hard for me to manage. So it has these cool little handy dandy levers. And then it can get, make itself bigger and smaller. up nice but I tell you it's heavy uh, and I hate moving it but I love using it so it's one of those okay we are 90% ready to boil we've got the arch in leveled stovepipe on we just need the steel for the back yeah and that's it and some sap so that's key. Uh, I dumped a lot of buckets today just because they have been frozen for a couple days and I just wanted to start fresh. So hopefully we get a run this week. We still have a ton of snow in the bush, so that's a good sign, but super odd weather. A lot of other people who tapped early have boiled uh, a lot already, which is awesome. We tend to usually miss the early boil and we just pick up mid season and we start and stop in a pretty short window. But anyways, getting pretty excited. This looks really good in here, way better than I had imagined. So it's pretty exciting. Um, it is quite large in here because I do plan on storing my garden tools in here for the winter. So there's gonna be lots of space kind of to hang out uh, and socialize anyways. Um, so we still have some light left because today's daylight saving, so exciting. So we are going to slam on some corners and some battens uh, just to keep on trucking.
that was a slog today. We were burning the, the daylight hours. It's probably close to seven o'clock right now, but we got all of the board and batten, all the battens on the back, the corners on three corners, and then the side done and the corner on this side. So all we have to do left is put the battens on the front side, the trim on the front side, and then the battens on the wood storage side. But we're just gonna peck away at it, just like we've been doing since last July. <laughs> at least it's not gonna take us a year to finish. Well, maybe it will because of the doors, but who cares? Anyways, hope you're all having a great weekend. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.